I think most folks have heard of the freshman 15. You go off to college, you start making your own choices, you put on some weight. Well, more and more young women and men are feeling the pressure to avoid this weight gain, and sometimes they go to extremes, and it's not safe, and we're going to talk about avoiding that problem. I had that same problem when I started this morning show, Paul. Remember we were... All right, well, your time now is 823, and the American College Health Association reports that since 2000, the number of college students dieting, vomiting, or taking laxatives to lose weight has jumped from 28 to 38 percent, and 51 percent of women between the age of 17 and 24 have eating disorders. We are joined by Jennifer Lombardi of Summit Eating Disorders and Outreach Program to talk about preventing eating disorders in college, because a lot of people, you know, we've been talking about the freshman 15, so a lot of people go to the extreme to try to avoid it. First, tell us your background with it because th this is a personal thing for you. Yes, I, I struggled with an eating disorder between the ages of 17 and 21 and unfortunately back then there wasn't a lot of treatment available for people but we do have resources now to treat people incredibly well who are struggling with anorexia, bulimia and binge eating disorder. For you, how did it begin? For me, I think it's, it's very similar as it is for most people. It's a multitude of things. It's never just one thing. And certainly, there's a lot of research now on the biology of these illnesses, as well as personality traits, family dynamics, trauma or loss. And unfortunately, the culture that we live in certainly doesn't help those, co those combination of factors. OK, but you obviously worked through that. Uh, can you tell us maybe what you were at your lowest weight? I or usually you... don't speak about certain okay. numbers of weight, because that tends to be triggering for patients. Right. But what I can say is that, fortunately, I had the help of a good therapist mm -hmm. and a family that was very supportive um, and friends and I, I do think it's important that people who for people who are struggling in their families to know that people really do recover right yeah it's a team effort it certainly is between you know your therapist and everybody else so what are some better ways uh, some things kids can, kids can think about as they go to college because it's very easy I, I'll say I remember when there was a day I ended up exercising three times in a day. Mm -hmm. I ate a banana and was like, oh my gosh, I need to go exercise more. And I took Metabolife, which mm -hmm. is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. So how do you get people to stay in the right mind frame uh, to keep this to keep it under control without going to the extreme? Well, I think the first thing is, is it's important to point out is that we now know that the whole myth of the freshman 15 is in fact a myth. There mm -hmm. was a study that was done not too long ago by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill which completely debunked that as a myth. And so I think the first thing we have to do is look at culturally how we talk about our bodies, how we talk about food. You know, we, we preach a lot about teaching balance to kids, um, but that's not what we practice. We vilify certain foods is good or bad um, and we oftentimes will make disparaging remarks about our own bodies and so I think that's one cultural piece that needs to shift dramatically the other thing I would say is that we need to be very realistic for high school students going away to college as much as it's a wonderful thing it also is a very very stressful thing mm -hmm. and there's a lot of change and we know that for people who are predisposed to developing eating disorders stress and change certainly can contribute to the onset or increase of these behaviors yeah and you know you're going to the dining hall where everything pre-made although mm -hmm. a lot of colleges now offer a lot more healthy options than they did right and I think again you know it's one of those things that we have to be realistic and that it's and understand that it's okay and it's normal to actually eat a variety of foods right. and also enjoy those times because it's it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to spend that time with friends okay and you have an event coming up this weekend we do it's our 10-year anniversary for our program and so this Friday we're hosting a professional development seminar um, that also includes a tour for people if they're interested so they can certainly contact our office if they'd like to attend all right well Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us a little bit about this issue. Thanks and for having hopefully, me. a lot of people will get the help that they need because there is help out there, and you know, that's part of it knowing that there are people out there who can help you. Great, thank you. All right.